Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, in honor of Fallen Order 2 Jedi Survivor, we're going to be taking a look at the Black Series Cal Kestis. If Saturday morning cartoons fueled your imagination as a kid and powers your action figure collecting now as an adult, then you're in the right place. Thanks for stopping by and welcome to Saturday Morning Toy Collector. And if you like my content, please consider subscribing. All right, here we have a closer look at the package. You can see a nice render of the figure and uh, and uh, BB-1 right there uh, on uh, the uh, on the front. Uh, this is from the ever popular Gaming Greats line, um, supposedly exclusive to uh, GameStop, but you know you know you can get these at most online retailers. I got mine from Big Bad Toy Store. Um, this is Cal Kestis from the brand new Jedi Survivor game. And uh, let's see, nice artwork there on the side. Looks really, really great. Uh, there's a shot of the figure, his accessories, and it says he stands six inches even. And right here on the back, again, number 17 in the line. Nice render of the figure. One of the last surviving members of the Jedi Order, Cal Kestis and his valiant droid companion BD-1 openly resist the growing power and domination of the evil Galactic Empire. Doesn't really tell us much about the game, but that's what it's supposed to do, right? All right, so let's get him opened up and take a closer look at everything he comes with. All right, here we have Cal open up and out of the package. And man, he is a pretty impressive figure. Um, kudos to Hasbro for uh, going all out and giving us... Um, what appears to be a wholly new sculpted figure. If there are any reused parts on here, um, please let me know in the comments down below. Um, I don't have my Black Series figures out on display, so um, so I don't, uh, you know, so I can't pull every Black Series figure off the shelf and compare them um, to see if like a leg or a boot or an, um, you know, a forearm is identical to something that's been released before. But if you know, uh, about something that is reused, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll try to update in the future. Uh, just taking a look at his accessories. Um, he does come with a all brand new lightsaber. This is not the same one that we got before um, with the other releases of Cal Kestis because that lightsaber had been destroyed, you know, kind of like cut in half and it was damaged on one end and this is all wholly brand new and rebuilt. It's got a nice little hook here on the end, hopefully to hang on his belt somewhere. Of course, the blade is removable. You have that little double tang right there on the tip of the admitter which looks really nice and a nice length uh, and color blue for the lightsaber he does come with what appears to be like an old western style revolver i love this this looks great again i haven't had a chance to play the game yet um and so uh you know i don't know like the in universe uh, name or how how much he uses this versus his lightsaber but this looks really nice looks like it was cast in an all silver um, plastic and then just um uh painted brown right there on the handle but it looks really nice i dig it um we'll see how that goes in his holster uh fits in there really nicely uh that's really cool we do have oh okay now i see where it goes Okay, so it looks like the light, there's a hook right here, and I thought maybe that's where the lightsaber went, um, but there is a little peg right there, and that's where it goes. Um, and then his last accessory, of course, is BD-1, and BD-1 is really nice. Uh, this is the same sculpt that we got before. Um, we've gotten two BD-1s already with a Cal Kestis figure. We've had two Cal Kestis figures come out. We might not have had another one. I don't remember if there was like a repaint of the uh, ponchoed version. Um, I can't remember, but this is the exact same mold um, that we've gotten before. Um, here is um, the original uh, uh, BD-1, and the newer one comes with a few less paint apps. Um, so here's the new one, and here's the first one. Uh, you can see that on the newer one, there's no red circle painted around his eye. There's no little red dots uh, painted in the middle. Uh, you can see on the legs, there's some yellow wiring that was on the original on the inner legs that's not painted on the new one. And then on the back, uh, you can see that there's this little gray um, box here that uh, is not painted there. Uh, so they kind of uh, skimped out on the paint apps, but hey, you know what? We've got this one here. So if you just want to use this one with your Cal Kestis, you can. And if you have the ponchoed version of Cal Kestis, 
um, you know that there was a um, different BD-1 that came that has uh, even different paint apps. It's got some little white boxes on the front, silver around the eye, no paint apps on the front chest piece. The wires are painted. Uh, there's silver on the back or on the legs and then no paint apps at all on the back um, because like Cal, you can customize BD-1 with different skins in the game. Um, so there you have it. And I it, was there an, another BD-1 released like in a droid pack or something from Mando or something? Am I, am I making that up in my mind? I can't remember. But uh, there's BD-1. So I'm okay with them skimping out on a few paint apps on him when they give us a fully new sculpt. What I think is a fully new sculpt here for Cal himself. Um, uh, nice, nice sculpt uh, on the face here for uh, the actor. I think it looks just like Cameron Monaghan uh, who plays him in the game. Um, I like the sculpted hair. Uh, it would have been nice if there was some extra paint apps or layering to the hair, um, but it does look good. Nice uh, paint apps on the face. That digital print technology has a nice like five o'clock shadow, nice little, uh, uh, little stubble on his chin and mustache. Uh, looks nice and subtle and the eyes are painted nice and look straight ahead. Um, we have some, uh, he, so his vest looks to be like a deep dark blue with a light blue flap hanging open. Nice yellow pad here on the uh, shoulder and some black padding right here on this side. We do have a couple of uh, paint apps on the arms. Nice little belt that goes all the way around. I would have liked some silver paint apps here on the belt. Maybe maybe these lines here or the hook for the lightsaber or this little uh, hook right here. Uh, nice silver armband could be a communicator or a locator or some sort of space GPS device for his arm. Uh, and then you can see some nice sculpt work in the pants and the boots and then um, two-toned boots. There's a darker color above the, uh, the lighter color. So as far as articulation goes, because this is black series, so we never know what we're gonna get. Uh, head can look up that far and he can look down that far. Because of the vest, there is no um, diaphragm if there is one underneath there, you're not moving it. He can pivot. Oh, look at that. When you move the vest up, look what we have underneath there. Some paint apps that I didn't even notice. Silver on the belt buckle and some gold, um, nice like bronzy gold color on his belt. Is there any more that I missed? No. Um, and so that looks really cool. Uh, arms can go all the way around, can go out and hit that T-pose, no problem. We do have a single joint uh, but you can get past 90 uh, and there is a swivel there as well. Hinge and swivel at the wrist. You can uh, swivel all the way around at the waist. Uh, leg can go all the way forward, no problem. Uh, and can only go back that far because of this holster. But let's see on this side, can go back a little bit more farther. Um, does have a um, upper thigh cut. Single joint at the knee, gets just a tad bit past 90. Um, no boot cut, but we do have a swivel at the knee, so that, that works out. And then hinge, swivel, and pivot uh, up and down and rocker on the foot. Uh, so, yeah, there's the articulation there. So let's bring in, um, let's, get him, let's get him holding his lightsaber. I wonder how that looks on his belt. Let's, let's check that out first before we get him holding it. Okay, that plugs on nicely and holds really well. Uh, right there in front of him. He is not ashamed to show off that he is a Jedi. He is, that lightsaber is out front and center. Uh, I do like the sculpt on his hand holding the lightsaber. I'm glad that it's an actual uh, lightsaber holding hand uh, and it doesn't have a trigger finger, uh, which I like uh, very much because he is a Jedi and he should hold it with a nice grip, but he does have a trigger finger on this hand for the pistol because um, he apparently is a lefty, which I have never paid attention to in the game. So let's uh, let's bring out a couple of other calcestuses, calcesti, whatever, however we want to pluralize that. Here is the original calcestus that we got, the very first one that came out for the first game, uh, and he appears to stand just a hair taller than. Um, than this current Calcestus. And here is the BD-1 that came with him. Let's see if we can get him standing up nicely in front. And then here is the Poncho Calcestus that we got. And I don't remember, did we get another version of this with a different color paint app, uh, different color Poncho? I can't remember. 
Um, this is the only one that I got. So there he is with that. And this is, you know, with the poncho, this is the same head sculpt. The, the hood just comes off. It's the same head sculpt as um, the first one. Uh, but let's take a look at that. Let's look at the different head sculpts here. Um, you can see this looks far more like Cameron Monaghan than this does. I mean, I see the character of Cal here, but this face sculpt is much better. So they've definitely improved. Uh, this still does have the face print technology, but this just, the paint apps and the sculpting on this one are just leaps and bounds better than this one. This looks more like a cartoon character than, than a real person. So there's a comparison there. So let's get these guys out of the way. He is a Black Series figure, so, you know, they're going to stand a little bit smaller uh, than other Hasbro figures. And I don't have him on a base yet, but here he is next to uh, Indiana Jones. He's smaller than that. Here he is next to uh, another Hasbro figure, Spider-Man, uh, and he's smaller than him. And, uh, yeah, and I, and I don't have him on bases, so that, that's going to help. That's going to hinder just a little bit, but you can see that, you know, it's Black Series. They skew a little bit smaller. So let's get Cal here under some lighting and into some backgrounds and see how he poses up. Oh, man, this figure really makes me excited to play the game. I really want to play the game, um, like, right now, but here we are. Um, we're, we're just a few days away from... Uh, the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Tears of the Kingdom, I believe. And uh, that game is just going to dominate my free time. So I'm not sure I'm going to have time to play this new, uh, this new Star Wars game. But I would love to. Uh, I love Star Wars and I need, a, I need a new game to play, but we're too close to Zelda. So oh, I think I'm going to have to hold off for right now. But this figure looks great. He poses well. He looks incredible. He has really good shelf presence, and uh, you know, and, and he's a, a new original character. So I dig that for the shelf. We're not getting the same Jedi over and over again. And I really dig this guy. He, uh, he looks great with the uh, with the rest of the Black Series um, Cal Kestis figures. And if you're a fan of the game, then you'll definitely want to pick this guy up. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. I super appreciate it. Please remember to hit that bell notification icon. Leave us a like, a comment, a subscribe. Any and all things you can do to help the channel grow and get in front of more people. I would super appreciate it. Uh, please check us out over at Instagram.com slash Saturday Morning Toy Collector for a bunch of different stuff. I post stuff every single day I'm trying to grow my presence on Instagram and uh, put up more content, more engaging content, and uh, more funny content, stuff that I don't get to put here on Facebook. So, I mean, here on YouTube. So, uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I really, really appreciate it. Again, this has been the Saturday Morning Toy Collector. I'm your host, Mark, and remember, I will see you in the toy aisles.